Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, welcome to New York. <laughs> Thanks, it's my home. Oh, welcome home. That's right, I forgot you grew up here, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Awesome. Where did the idea for the Shield pilot originate? It kind of did come together um, through a lot of various factors. Clark and his work and how much we loved him and uh, a short that was made and the idea of a S.H.I.E.L.D. show that had been floating around but didn't really have any mooring. And, and by the time it came to me, um, all of the elements were sort of already in place. And they said, well, we think we have everything we need. Is there a show? And then for me, the idea behind it uh, was really embodied by Clark. It was the idea of the guy um, in the superhero story who doesn't have any superhero powers. The guy who's next to the big action, who's affected by it, and in some cases very damagingly. Clark did not have a great time in the Avengers. I don't know if you saw it, but yeah. things sort of went south for him in Act Two there. But um, uh, the idea of the you know the little guy in a huge universe really appealed to me, and that's sort of what we built off of. How was it actually when Coulson, spoiler, uh, dies in the Avengers? How was, I, I don't know if you did, you're just hearing about this, but. Um, so I was in a fog that whole time. <laughs> but how was the fan reaction? Did that sort of fuel this for you? You know, um, people were heartbroken, but not outraged. And I've outraged people before. You needed something real to happen. Otherwise, all the damage in the movie would have been just irresponsible. But this being the Marvel Universe, um, death be not so proud as usual because people often come back and so there was some slim hope held out but we had no intention of, of bringing him back until the S.H.I.E.L.D. show really coalesced and then we said well we can't do it without him. So you are Mr. Marvel, you're a phenomenal writer of comics as well, are there any arcs that you're looking forward to potentially using or things that interest you? using in the show. What we're really trying to get more than anything else is the feeling and the ethos of those comics, the way, the thing that made me run to the store to pull them out of the racks every week. And, um, uh, you know, that sort of excitement, the drama, and, you know, the, the wonder of the thing. Those are the things that we really want to capture. But the show is really designed for your people to fall in love with a new group of characters. And speaking of those characters, as you were assembling this cast and, and this team, uh, what were you looking for to sort of put around Coulson or as you were bringing, assembling your new crew? We wanted um, a diverse group. We wanted different ages. We wanted, you know, people who were all, you know, very good at what they did, but missing something else mm -hmm. so that they would intersect. When you're, when you're building a team, you're really looking for every possible intersection. Like it's Everybody standing next to anybody is going to be interesting and tense and they'll conflict and they'll agree and there'll be humor and there'll be, you know, sexual tension and all this. You just want all of that in the mix. In a way, they're all superheroes just because, you know, they are all so good at what they do, but they're all, you know, very ordinary at the same time, except that for some reason they're all extraordinarily beautiful. Hey, that's TV for you, huh? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird how that happens. So speaking of which, uh, in Marvel films, you are dealing with all of these, like, titanic, huge superheroes. Uh, but is it different having these more everyday characters or, or human characters? Yeah, no. Actually, the fact is, it's not really different. I mean, you have a team. Um, you want everybody to shine. You want to, you know, to give everybody the best work you know, and the most stuff they can do. And um, obviously, when you're doing the big hero stuff, it takes longer, it's on a bigger scale. But again, it, when you're in the room and you're directing the actors, you're going for the exact same thing. You're going for the funniest, the most poignant, the most exciting, the most dangerous. You, you, you know, you just want to get go as far as you can. And you want to make them feel safe to start creating as actors, the characters that they now are. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the new TV series, premieres Tuesday, September 24th on ABC.